Welcome back to the channel. Did you ever find yourself needing to spin up more network devices than what you physically have in a rack? Don't you wish there was an easy way to take images you currently have and be able to virtualize them on a specific platform and be able to interact with them like you would normally if they were physical devices? Well, you can do that. It's a program called EVNG, and today we're gonna see how to install it from start to finish. Let's jump right into it. So we're logged into my Proxmox cluster and uh, ignore some of the uptimes. I know I need to shut down some devices. So bit of housekeeping. I already uploaded the EVNG ISO. So what we're going to do is we're going to just go with the creation of a VM. So we're going to right click him, create a new VM. We're going to name it EVNG Pro. The operating system is going to be the ISO image that is local to this box. So it's going to be the new version of EVNG version 6.4, the professional version. The system, we're going to leave this the same. Disks, we're going to allocate it 150 gigs. <clears throat> CPU, we want to look specifically for host. So we want to be able to just grab the host CPU and not have it go through any virtualization. Memory is gonna be 16384, so 16 gigs of RAM. May not be what you need to run it. This is just uh, how to get it up and running without worrying about what I actually need to run. And we're gonna throw it into this particular VLAN. We're gonna make sure everything looks good to me. We're gonna start after created and click finish. <clears throat> so while that's getting set up, let's get our workspace to a certain way so we can see exactly what we're working with. So we're gonna shrink down some of these windows and we can see the installs already started. So let's see what we gotta do. All right. So we're going through the Ubuntu bootstrap process, and if it takes a while, I'll pause it and get you right to where we need to pick up. All right, so just like a traditional Ubuntu setup, we're going to pick the language we want, our keyboard layout, and it's going to ask us in a few seconds if we want to proceed with the installation, it's gonna destroy everything that's on the disk. We're gonna click continue. This is gonna take a few, so I'll be back when the system reboots and we're ready to do something. All right, the system just rebooted. And we're going to let this do what it's going to do. When it gets to the login screen is where a very important piece is going to take place. So you see right above where it says EVNG login, second stage install is in process. Don't log in. Do not log in at this point. What you're going to do is you're going to wait for the second install process to start. Once it starts, it's going to reboot again. And then we can come back to it. Now, you will see stuff flashing on the screen. It's not going to be a silent install. So we'll see. It's starting to do the second install process. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause it again. And I'll be back right after the reboot so we can see what's next. All right. Let's log in and let's see what we got to do. So it's root eve. And what it wants now is it wants a new root password. So we're going to give it a root password. Now this is only the password for the CLI. It's not the password to log into the UI. We're going to call it EVNG Pro. It 
it's going to go into the mikelossman.me domain. We want to set it up statically. And the address is one, oops, 172.21.54.5. So slash 24. With 172.20.54.1 being the default gateway and the DNS server. We're going to skip the secondary NTP. We directly connect to the internet. <clears throat> it's going to do what it does. And now it's rebooting and it's going to configure what we configured. And once it comes back, we should be able to log in. So I will put you on hold and I'll be back as soon as the login prompt appears. All right, login prompt appeared. So let's open up a new window. Let's zoom in a little bit so everyone at the party can see. Go to the IP address, accept that it's unsafe. And we want to log in with admin Eve. And when we click sign in, there we are. We have successfully installed EVNG Pro version 6.4, the new and improved version. Um, so now you can license it and you can start uploading your images and labbing till your heart's content. And there you have it. We've gone from a simple ISO to a full-fledged network simulation powerhouse. Now you're ready to build labs with a whopping 1,024 nodes. Use hot links to change your topology on the fly and even add Docker containers for things like Wireshark and traffic generators. All the features that make EVNG Pro the gold standard. So now that you've got a professional grade tool, the only thing left to do is create a professional grade network. And hey, while you're at it, don't forget to like this video and subscribe. It's the only way to ensure your network simulations are always on point. And trust me, you don't want to mess with the digital networking gods. Thanks for watching and have a great day.